Okay, we're back again. We've got the uh, MOSFET switcher. Place the uh, MOSFETs with the same ones that were in there. They're 110 amp each. Uh, MOSFETs run really cool, even at well, it's even at 100 amps. Not a problem. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see that amp meter with this. There we go. It's running about 50 something there. There's about a hundred amps right there. And the MOSFETs, my finger, not burning it. They run fairly cool. I put the uh, Put a fan on the outside, you're permanently installed. And it'll be thermostatically switched. The problem we've had all along has been this positive bus. Positive bus has got the uh, blocking diodes built right into it. I put a heat sink on here that heat sinks the, the positive bus into this also, which actually warms this uh, heat sink up quite a bit. It's, it's the biggest uh, offender of, of heat on this whole unit. Uh, it was running a lot more energy into this bus before, so we strengthened the uh, connections on the uh, positive bus heatsink leg, but it's still not where it needs to be. So I've got another fan here to, to keep it cool, but it's still running probably about 140 some degrees with the fan on it. So that's the issues we have right now, but we're trying to get this car running. Before January 1st, uh, we're going to use it as is for now, and we'll solve some of the issues with it. We also got the uh, Cornelius keg in today, which is a five-gallon uh, soda keg you use all over the world for about 25 bucks. You can't even really buy the metal for that; it's stainless steel, so it's a really, really good idea. We're going to we do the fittings on it and uh, put. 10 uh, HHO cells in it that are 14 inches long. They're Stanley Myers types of designs that we did some other modifications to, as well as put a probably about a 12 inch plasma tube, also made out of stainless steel tubes, half inch and three quarter inch, probably running a higher voltage and plasmatize the uh, steam uh, as well as uh, try the water, see what that does. We'll try to build 60 psi and then run that into the car, see if we can get it idling. That's the big plan for January 1st. All right, thanks for watching.